escuchas esto en tu casa, entonces vas a sentirte bien Que mi guitarra te abraza y te saluda a mi voz también Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to Friday 15. First, let's take a quick moment, if you haven't already, to rename yourselves, your class name and your cohort. And then we're going to go over uh, to the yellow room this week. They've been talking about feelings and emotions. And this morning, they're going to show us some artwork that they have created uh, that goes along with this activity. Yellow room, are you out there? Hi, yellow room. Hi, we're here. <laughs> Do you guys, I could start? Yes, please. Hi, so we are the Yellow Room. Um, this week we uh, started talking about and learning about um, different feelings and emotions that we might have, um, that we might have felt and how we're, and it's okay to have these emotions, um, but one way um, that we can control these emotions is more um, about speaking about it, talking about what we feel, um, whether it's communication um, with different friends, if we feel that, we both want to share the same toy or we're going to turn take with sharing the same toys. Um, we started off the week um, reading a book. It's called The Way I Feel. Um, during this book, <laughs> we, we um, learned about different emotions, being silly. What else did we learn? Being mad. Being mad. Silly. Silly. Um, excited. Happy. Um, what else is on here? Jealous frustrated um so after reading oh, I have one. what confused. confused we also surprise um, happy. happy so there are many different emotions um that we learn through with that book and along with that we um design our own three different emotions yeah. um this one was ripley's ripley do you want to tell them what you drew on here this is angry this is surprise and this is Oh, uh, do you want to show them your surprise face? <laughs> so one way, since we are wearing masks, it's kind of difficult to see um facial expression. So we focus is we focus a lot on our eyes, so our eyes can tell a lot. And also um our hand gestures, our body movement, our just our, just the body, we're focusing on body and eyes. Um so this one was Ripley. Can you whose is this one? I think this one is Huey. Huey, you want to come? So Huey did um, three of them. I'm not sure this one. Do you you know which one this one is? Happy. Happy. How about this one? Mad. Mad. And this one? Mm, sad. Sad. Do you want to show them your mad face? Yeah, so he kind of scrunched his eyebrows together. Um, let me see. This one is Pippa. Thank you. Pippa, you want to show them what you did? Uh, happy. Happy. Surprise. Surprise. Sad. Sad. What's one thing that makes you happy? Um, when my doggy kisses me. When your dad kisses you? <laughs> <laughs> um, Lucy, do you want to share? Yeah? All right. Can I have you switch it, please? All right, so this is Lucy. Lucy, you want to show them what you did? Sad, mad, and happy. Happy. What's one thing that makes you sad? Um, when I fall. When you fall. It kind of hurts, right? Yeah. So maybe hurt them. We clean it up and make you feel better. <laughs> no, abandoned. Oh, no. And we have Miss Violet here who also did one. Do you want to tell them what you did? So I did, so I did have be fierce and sad. Sad. What makes you happy? So makes me happy. So the first thing that makes me happy is the only way that I can solve my mission. Oh, <laughs> um, does anybody else want to go? You want Dorothy? Um, all right. Are you want to come up, Dorothy? All right. You want to show them what you did? 
happy, sad, and angry. What makes you angry? Mm. Or what makes you sad? Uh, when my mom and dad leave me. Oh, when they leave you? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Anybody else want to share? Miss Eleanor. All right, you want to come in, Miss Eleanor? All right, you want to tell them what you did? Happy, oh. uh, fierce, and calm. Um, what makes you happy? When Forty comes and kisses her dog. Oh yeah, when her dog Forty comes and kisses her, makes her happy. <laughs> because she always runs in and gives me kisses. Oh my! And a whole almost knocked me over. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. Um, yeah, so we just learned different emotions um, this week. And we are just continuing to learn today. We have our last activity today. That's wonderful, Yellow Room. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. And it's so true. You have to be very observant with the masks on. You have to look at the eyes and the, and the facial expressions and the, and the use of hands and you're, you're paying such close attention. Thank you for sharing that with us and, and the art that goes along with that with us. That was fun to watch. And this week uh, in kindergarten uh, for social studies, they learned about Dolores Huerta and the Moon Festival. And we are excited that kindergarten is here to share that with us. Kinder, are you out there? We're here. Hi, everyone. So we had a few of our friends in social studies. We had a very busy week learning this week. And we learned about Dolores Huerta for Hispanic Heritage Month and what an important lady she was because she believed in equality. And we talked a lot about what that means and what being fair means and what a protest is. And we learned some really big words, didn't we? And we made some beautiful posters that my friends Max and Cameron and Fox are gonna show you. Do you guys remember what these posters say? Yes, we can. Can you show them? Si se puede. So here, I'm gonna have Max show. Go ahead, Max, nice and hold it up. Beautiful, strong, independent. Okay, Cameron's gonna show hers. Go ahead, Cameron, hold it up nice and tall. Lots of bright colors with a beautiful message. And my friend Fox, we're going to let Fox come on in here. Fox, can you hold it up there for everyone to see? Hold it up high. Nice and proud. Nice big words. So we've got some important lessons that are going to continue all year round. And then Amber is going to come and talk about the Moon Festival, which is really cool. And you guys are really going to enjoy this story. So I'm going to switch places. You guys were amazing. That's okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Hi. So, and while it was also um, Hispanic Heritage Month, another fun thing happened this week. Tuesday was the Moon Festival. And during the Moon Festival in countries like China and other Asian, other surrounding Asian countries and Asian families here in the U.S., they celebrate the Moon Festival, also known as the Mid-Autumn Festival. And that comes from a wonderful ancient legend. And it's about Chunga and Hoyi. Here's a picture of Chunga and Hoyi. Now, Chunga and Hoyi were husband and wife, and they were so in love. One day, long, long ago, there were 10 suns in the sky and it was so hot with 10 suns. It was so hot this week with just one sun. Imagine with 10. So the emperor asked Hoi, who was a famous archer, to shoot down some of these suns. So he shot down some suns. So there was only one left in the sky. When he did that, the emperor was so impressed that he gave him an elixir to live forever. But the catch was both he and Hoi had to drink it at the same time to both live forever. Now, unfortunately, someone found out that they had this special elixir. And so they snuck over to their house while Hoi wasn't there. And to save the elixir, 
Chang'e drank the whole potion all by herself. When that happened, she floated up to the moon and she had to live on the moon forever without Ho Yi. And when she cried, all of her tears turned into the stars. And so here she is on the moon with Jade Rabbit, her friend, her only friend on the moon. And so now people say, whenever you look up to the moon, you'll see a shadow of Chang'e. So what we did in kindergarten was we made our own pictures of the moon with shadows of Chang'e. And here are my friends to show off their beautiful art. So here's Chang'e and her friend Jade Rabbit with Sawyer. Great job, Sawyer. Lucita. Wow, love, there's another Chang'e and Jade Rabbit. Great job. And Zoe. Awesome, Zoe. All these beautiful art. So during this moon festival season, keep your loved ones close and make sure you give them all of your love because you never know what might happen. Oh, Holly, you're on mute. That's right. Thank you, Amber. What beautiful art. Oh my goodness. And what a beautiful story. Up next, we are gonna go over to middle school and have another installment with Luke's Literary Look. Teacher Luke, are you there? There you are. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. How are we doing on time? Just so I know how many books I can talk about. Oh man, I've got a lot of books to talk about. As you all know, this is Hispanic Heritage Month. We're gonna ce celebrate Hispanic heritage all month long. And one of my favorite ways to do that is through books. I like hearing about Hispanic heroes. I like learning their stories because don't you all like great stories? Nod your head if you do out there. I love great stories. One of the first ones I wanna talk about is this one. This is a really important story because it's a true story. And it's about this woman right here. And she's very, famous, especially to librarians, because she was one of the greatest librarians of all time. And her name is Pura Belpre, Pura Belpre. And she came to America from Puerto Rico in the early 1920s, such a long time ago. That was a that was hundred years ago, right? And we still talk about her because she was one of the best storytellers of all time. She came over to New York and became a famous librarian because she could tell amazing stories in English and in Spanish. And she became so famous that now, whenever an amazing book is written with Hispanic characters or by a Hispanic author, look at this. That's called the Pura Bel Pre Award. She's so famous that we give out those awards to the best books representing Hispanic heritage and culture, all right? So teachers all the way, pre, well, kindergarten through first, second, fabulous picture book story about Pura Bel Pre. But let's talk about some amazing other picture books by great, great Latino authors. This is Raul III. He's one of my favorite artists. Look how cool this looks. And if you read this book, Oh, it's almost like watching a cartoon. It is so cool. He's such a good artist, especially this book called Vamos, Let's Go to the Market. And this, this illustrates what it's like when you go to a Mexican marketplace. It's so much fun, the food, the colors, the music, the celebrations, the wrestling. The wrestling? Why, well, yes, the wrestling too, right? Luchadors. And you'll find out all about that. This is peppered with fabulous Spanish too. Uh, so if you're learning Spanish out there, this book is a must read as well. All right, I'm gonna talk about a few older books though for older kids as well. This book is by one of the most famous uh, Mexican American authors out there, Pam Munoz Ryan. And she writes for all age ranges. But this is one of my favorite stories of hers. This is great for second or third graders. It's called Writing Freedom. 
This is also a true story. This all really happened. It's about one of the greatest cowboys of all time. And what was her name? Charlotte Parkhurst. And the amazing thing about Charlotte Parkhurst was when she grew up, she didn't like being a girl. She wanted to be a boy. She wanted to do a boy things back then because girls weren't allowed to do a lot of great things. So she decided to learn how to ride horses and she became a cowboy, one of the most famous cowboys of all time. And she did one of the most dangerous jobs in the Wild West. She drove a stagecoach, very dangerous. A lot of robbers tried to take her, her baggage, tried to rob her customers, but she wouldn't let them. She was very tough. This is a wonderful story. Another great one for fourth or fifth graders out there, Bandit's Moon. And this is also about a very famous Mexican hero. And his name was Joaquin Murrieta. Has anyone out there ever heard of Robin Hood? Robin Hood? This guy, they called him the Mexican Robin Hood because he used to rob and steal from really rich people and give it to the poor people who needed a lot of help at that time. But if you're interested in early California history, this one, not very long, quick read. One of my favorite, favorite books of all time by one of my favorite authors of all time, Sid Fleischman. So these are just a few books, a few stories that celebrate Hispanic heritage. And we're gonna talk more about that all month long. But I hope you all have a great Friday out there. Happy Friday 15. Thank you, Luke. And now it is time for birthdays. First birthday, Owen had a birthday in first grade. Happy birthday, Owen. Hi, Owen, there you are. And Ellis had a birthday in the green room. Ellis in the green room. Happy birthday, Ellis. And Mina had a birthday in transition. And Max in the red room. And Lucy in the yellow room. We just saw Lucy in the yellow room. Happy birthday, Lucy. <laughs> and Bo in eighth grade. Happy birthday, Bo. And also Tyler in eighth grade. <gasps> Tyler. Shout out to Tyler. Grade. Bo and Tyler both. Uh, if we can find eighth grade. Uh, we're getting we are there. missing Bo. Bo is missing. He's probably celebrating his birthday right now. But Tyler's back. There's there. Tyler. Happy birthday, Tyler. <laughs> okay. All right. And that's all we have for Friday 15. We hope you have a wonderful weekend, everyone. And we'll see you right back here on Monday. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Si escuchas esto en la calle, entonces vas a sentir sabor. Es nada más un detalle, pues una máquina de vapor.